Yeah, welcome again, everybody, to the four of our four nights of prayers and ministration for 2023. And the four is we are crowning it all as far as this particular program is concerned. Of course, we still have a couple of days before the year ends, and our normal program will still continue, and we'll be doing some particular ministrations and teachings are still in preparation for next year as the Lord directs. Amen and amen. And today we will be praying and of course uh, um, waiting upon the Lord for encounters in a very, very powerful way. So we'll get into a place of prayers. God gave me some two verses with clear instructions, with clear instructions of what we should do as we tarry in his presence. And the instructions, I can summarize them in, in a simple statement. God is asking you to trust him as far as your next year is concerned. When I was praying for this, for, for this evening ministration, that was what the Holy Spirit ministered to me. Tell, tell them to trust me for next year. You have been in the place of prayers for four days. Trust me for next year. That is the word. That is the encouragement. Trust me for next year. Trust me that I will preserve you. This, this statement that preserved, sustained, and lifted in 23, I wrote it down not less than one hour ago because that's what I heard the Holy Spirit telling me as I was praying. Trust me in 2023. That is this a word for somebody? Trust God. You see that your career you've been crying about? Trust God for next year. You see that your business? Trust God. You see that your family, that your relationship, whatever, what you see that major project that you're planning to do next year, the word for you today as we end these four nights of prayers and ministration, trust God. Because he has promised that next year he will preserve you. He will preserve whatever concerns you. Number two, he will sustain you with his righteous right hand. And number three, he will lift you next year. But you need to trust him. Isaiah chapter 60 verses 1 to 3. Isaiah chapter 60 verses 1 to 3. The Bible says, arise, shine, for your light has come. God is telling somebody that as you enter New Year, as you enter 2023, have the mindset, have the mindset of somebody who is ready to arise and you are certain that you will shine. Be ready to arise next year. For many people, God has already gone ahead of you next year to get a lot of things in place for you. Your job is to arise and shine. For you to arise means that you should, you know, wake up. Wake up from that depression. Wake up from that sadness. Wake up from that mentality of failure and struggle and develop a different consciousness. Develop the consciousness of a conqueror. Develop the consciousness of a victim. Develop the consciousness of a winner. Develop the consciousness of someone who is certain that next year you are preserved, you will be sustained, and you will be lifted in whatever you do. In the name of Jesus, arise and shine. For your light has come. Somebody's light will come next year. The glory and the brilliance of the Lord has risen upon you. Now, this particular one is very important because you cannot tarry in the presence of God for four days and specifically praying for your new year and you don't contact a glory. You don't contact a grace. The good news I have for you is you have contacted a glory. 
Because the Bible says, and the glory and brilliance of the Lord has risen upon you. I have good news for somebody. In these four days, the glory and the brilliance of the Lord has risen upon you in the name of Jesus. Because you don't contact the glory of God outside of his presence. No, you contact the glory of God in his presence. You contact the brilliance of God in his presence. So as you turn in his presence, the good news for you is his glory and his brilliance has risen upon you in the name of Jesus. And the good news for somebody is, which is in verse 3, nations will come to your light. and kings to the brightness of your rising. There is somebody here, you have been doing things over and over. It's as if your career has been turning over and over. But I bring you good news. Because you have sought the face of the Lord for your next year, the glory, the grave that qualifies you for nations to come to your light, for kings to come to the brightness of your rising has come upon you in the name of Jesus. Slick, I have no doubt. Let me tell you a testimony. The first time I ever traveled to the US was in 2018. And 2018, I, I did my crossover as I normally do. I normally pray for my year, then I go to church and I cross over and worship and all of that. And that year, that year, I caught a verse. A word came that this year, a glory that would distinguish me would rest upon me. I didn't understand. But that 2018 was the that was that was the year where my highest announcement internationally was done in 2018. Because a word came because somebody tarried in the place of prayer. I tarried to pray specifically for my career and for my business. And the word came. And from that day, from 2018 to today, I have never looked back. Just within that time, I traveled 18 countries. Because a word came that in his presence, I have contacted a glory that would distinguish me and my career changed. This is good news for somebody. You have contacted the glory and the brilliance of the Lord. It has so risen upon you that nations will come to your light, kings to the brightness of your rising. Now, people don't get to understand this. Kings don't really mean that, you know, uh, uh, people who sit in thrones or kings of villages and, and all of that. It, it's talking about nobles in the society, relevant people, people that make sense. In my, in, in my mentorship community, I always teach them about uh, uh, poor people's money and rich people's money. What does that mean? There are some people that when you do something for them, they will pay you according to their level of finances. Okay, let me give an example. Something happened to me in 2021, and I'll never forget. There was a session on marketing strategy that I taught in Boya, in place in Cameroon, but those are out of, not Cameroonians. Boya is a city in Cameroon. And I taught that course, I was given 30,000 francs for that course on marketing strategy. And then a few days later, a company hired me in Douala to teach on marketing strategy to their team. And I charged them 400,000 francs and they paid. I did not change anything from that PowerPoint. I took the same PowerPoint and I went and trained and the feedback was amazing. The difference was, one, I was paid by another class of people, and another, I was paid by a king. When kings pay you, they pay you with royalty. When noble men seek for you, when noble men come to the brightness of your rise in your life, change. Jesus says something funny. The poor you always have with you. You need to pray not to serve poor people. You can, you not, I mean, like not to sell to them. Mm? Yeah, I prefer, I always say I prefer to serve people who are who, who lack and then I sell to kings because kings are the right way I'm going to pay you, right? I have my own way of looking at wisdom and business, but that's not a practical thing anyway, right? So that's what it means that in 2023, nations will come to your light. 
There are some of you that you are so good at what you do. You need a grace that can usher you into nation. You need a glory to rest upon you that a nation will call you. Remember the first time when the government of Liberia invited me to Monrovia in Liberia to give an advice and keynote on, on education in Liberia and skills development. That's when a nation invites you. Nations will come to your light and kings to the brightness of your rising. This is a word for somebody God asked me to tell you that next year, because you have tarried, nations will come to your light and kings to the brightness of your rising. I don't need to do kajol and gob and kamna for you think that I'm already giving you a prophecy. The second verse, Job chapter 5, verse 21 to 22. Job chapter 5, verse 21 to 22. Get ready to pray. The Bible says, you will be hidden from the scourge of the tongue. The prophecy from this verse is that nobody, no evil tongue will pull you down next year in the name of Jesus. People will not gather at their workplace and use their tongue to destroy your career in the name of Jesus. People will not gather and use their tongue to destroy your business in the name of Jesus. People will not gather to use their tongue to destroy a good relationship that would have changed your life in the name of Jesus. The Bible says you will not you will be hidden. I mean, you will be hidden from the scourge of the tongue. You will not be afraid of destruction when it comes. The good news for you is in 2023, you will see destruction coming, but none will come near you in the name of Jesus. I am prophesying as instructed. What was I praying? I'm just doing what I was asking. And you will not. Be afraid of destruction when it comes. You may see others going through destruction, but it will not come near you. You will be preserved by the hand of God in the name of Jesus. And last, verse 22 of that Job chapter, Job chapter 5 says, You will laugh at violence. Ah, Bali, Kabbalah. You will laugh at violence. Oh, somebody. Write a declaration in the chat box that I will laugh at violence. You will laugh at violence. Violence will not come near you. Violence will not come near what concerns you. You will laugh at violence. And famine and you will not be afraid of the wild beast of the earth. You will not be afraid of the wild beast of the earth. In the name of Jesus. You will laugh at violence. You will laugh at famine. You will laugh at lack. You will laugh at scarcity. Scarcity will not come near you in the name of Jesus. And you will not be afraid of the wild beast of the earth. Mm. No wild beast will come against you. No wild beast will come against the works of your hands. No wild beast. A wild beast can still be an evil human being. A wicked man can be a wild beast. A wicked man can be a wild beast. Mm. Thank you, Holy Spirit. God is setting somebody free right now from the evil entanglement of wild beasts, from the evil entanglements. It's a workplace setting. It's a workplace setting. You have been sensing that something is wrong. You have been sensing that something is wrong. By the, by the ministry of ministering angels, may you be set free from that entanglement, that evil, wicked entanglement. Thank you, Father. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. There's deliverance going on now like this. 
God is delivering somebody right now from evil entanglement in the midst of wild beasts. You are being set free. The ministry of angels setting you free. The person concerned is under the anointed right now. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Evil gang up, evil gang up in the workplace, evil gang up in the workplace. Your light will shine in that workplace in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Just lift up your voice and begin to worship God as we get to the place of prayer. If you're worshiping, just say, Father, thank you. Lord, thank you. Father, thank you. Thank you. Just thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, my man. Father, we worship. Father, we worship. Father, we worship you, Lord. Somebody Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. Who is here that discovered um, like traditional mixing in your office? The Holy Spirit keep telling me. He discovered traditional mixing in your office. Like why is, why is prophecy starting now? We have not prayed. Sometimes I don't like it when it starts with anything. Who is that? You've got traditional mixing like in your office. What did I'm talking about? What did you do? What happened? What did you do with it? Okay. Yes, yes, Father, thank you. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you, Father. Okay. Thank you, Lord. I'll give further instructions on that. Now, we're going to pray. For those who are following day four, I've been doing day one, day two, day three, this day four, and the prayer points are in sequence. So if you have, if you have missed the other days, please, you can go on the YouTube channel. And you'll see um, day one, day two, day three, day four, uh, day three, so that you, you don't miss out because the prayers are in sequence, you know, as we pray for the year, as the Lord directed us to pray. All right. Next, we're going to pray. If the prayer points come from Acts chapter 27, verse 33, Acts chapter 27, verse 33. Now, now, the Bible says, So I urge you to eat some food. For this is for your survival. For not a hair from the head of any of you will perish. You are going to make a prayer point and you're going to decree. Not a hair from your head will perish in 2023 in the name of Jesus. Now listen, not a hair in, you know, the Bible sometimes use what they call in theology, typology. 
right? A hair can mean, you know, it can mean your finances. It can mean anything that if it, if it leaves or somebody touches it, it can cause you pain. Not a hair, not anything that concerns you will perish, not, nothing. Anything that is yours will not perish in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Begin to decree, begin to pray. Not a hair, not a hair from my head will perish in not the name of Jesus. Not a hair from my head, Begin to decree, begin to declare. Not a hair from your head will perish in the name of your Not a hair in the name of your house. Not a hair in the name of your house. Everything that is mine is preserved in the name of Jesus. Begin to pray for preservation. Begin to pray for preservation. Begin to pray for preservation. Pray for preservation. Somebody pray for preservation. Pray for preservation. Pray for preservation. Pray for preservation. in the name of jesus quickly um somebody you have been saving money want to start a business next year and you're already talking with somebody to give the person money. I don't know if you're giving the person money to buy the things for you for my brother and do what and bring or something. And you have not met the person before. You have been having doubts in your heart. Hold on with that deal. Hold on with that deal. And seek for further instructions. Seek for, pray more. 
You need to pray for preservation of your finances before you enter into a business deal that you will lose your life savings. Who is that? Number two. Number two. Promotion. There's somebody you have been praying. Your boss have been promising you promotion and salary increase throughout this year, but action was not taken. Throughout this year, they can tell you they will promote you to increase salary. Promote increased salary. But throughout this year, no action. In short, they started last year. They probably will happen this year. But this year has passed and it has not happened. No, mm. God will favor you. God will favor you. God will favor you. Pray for the favor of God. Pray for the favor of God. You need that favor to say highly. That's what say. You are highly favored. You are highly favored. You need to contact that fellow. The kind of favor that pressure men to have sleepless nights. May the people responsible for that decision, may they not rest until they settle you in January in the name of Jesus. It is done. It's done. Next yeah. prayer point. Next prayer point. Now, Psalms 4 verse 2. Psalms 4 verse 2. The Bible says, O sons of men, how long will my honor and glory be turned into shame? Mm. O sons of men, how long will my honor and glory be turned into shame. You are going to pray. You are going to pray a very important prayer. My honor and glory in 2023, the honor and glory that the Lord has preserved for me in 2023 will not be turned into shame in the name of Jesus. You are going to pray that prayer seriously. The honor the honor in my career, the honor in my business, the honor in my life that has been reserved for me in 2023, it will not be turned into shame in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh my goodness. There's a plot. Jeez. Not to do with so much prophecy. We need to pray. We are going to pray all these prayer points today. So if we pray and pass one a Cameroon time, or we will not mind. Now, there's somebody here, you have a very good relationship, but you flaunt your man a lot on social media. There's a plot. He's a very good man, very good man. You flaunt him a lot on social media. So some people are jealous. There's actually a plan to get married next year. Who is that? They want to turn that glory into shame. Ah. They want to turn that glory into shame. Who is that? And there's something many people of you do. There are promises I give you now come after and say, I was the one. I didn't want to confirm. You know. Before coming to minister like this, I pray into the session. So I am in a particular frequency. After that, I have ended. I will go and eat and drink me my, my juice. I'm no longer in a mode of prayer. You come and start telling me that ah, I was the one. I was the one. What do you want me to do at that time? <laughs> Your glory will not be turned into shame in the name of Jesus. It will not be turned into shame. It will not be turned into shame. That open door that God has planned for you, 
that settlement that God has planned for you, that is supposed to bring you glory and honor. It will not be turned into shame by men. That verse says, all sons of men, men are wicked, though. all sons of men, how long will my honor and glory be turned into shame? People will gather just to turn your honor and glory to shame. All sons of men. You are going to pray this prayer point too. My honor and glory will not be turned to shame in 2023. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to pray. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus. Now, one of the most, one of the most evil things happening now among men is envy and jealousy. That's why, like you see, like in Cameroon, Nigeria, many other countries, you hear of poisoning, you hear of people setting people up. It's jealousy and envy. Why must it be you? Why must you be happy? And I always advise people, what the enemy does not know, the enemy cannot use against you. Be intelligent with how you share your information. The enemy is not omnipotent. The enemy is not omnipresent. The devil is under powerful based on what he knows and then your level of ignorance. He's a very powerless uh, somebody, very useless human being. But when you, be careful, please be careful. People can use what you say and tarnish your glory. Go ahead of you and destroy your glory. Oh yes, it's possible. Look, the blessings of God pass from God to man. And if God can release your blessings on somebody and for that person to come and give you, and another man can go and tarnish your glory. Somebody has promised you something. It has not yet happened. You are already passing your mouth among your friends. Friends that you can even lay your life down for them. You are already passing your mouth. Para, 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 para. Are you a parrot? 
Some of you, your major deliverance next day is shut up your mouth. Set your goals, only talk to people that can advise you. That's why it's good to have mentors. One of my things that I do is majority, 99% of my biggest moves and biggest things I do. I talk to my mentor, I talk to my pastor. Is we are good to go. We are good to go. Any other person, you will see it where it has happened. Why do you want to know the process? Is that your business? Are you the one to go through the process? Let's be careful. The enemy, you can be anointed, but because of your inadequate ways of managing your information, the enemy keeps tormenting you day and night. You are in a good relationship. Small little thing, you and your boyfriend go. You snap a plate of food and post. Whatever thing you do, he does it and post. What do you think somebody who is not in Christ and doesn't have a boyfriend and is your friend, what do you think that person will do? Every human being has emotions. Not everybody has grown to manage emotions. Anger and jealousy and envy stems from the wrong emotions poorly managed. But what people don't understand, they attack. There are some people going suffering right now because of how they poorly manage their information. Every little thing is here, is there. Some things have not fully matured. You have passed your mouth already. They are supposed to even call your best friends. They even have best friends. Oh, sons of men, how long will my honor and glory be turned into shame? This is a question that some of you need to go and ask your friends. Some of, you, some of, you, some of the shame you have been going through in your life, you need to go and check. This verse is for you. Some of the shame that you have been going through, some of the troubles you have been going through. Psalms 4 verse 2, O oh, sons of men, how long will my honor and glory be turned into shame? Some of the shame you have gone through in the last months and years. Your friends turn the glory into shame. See, there are some friends that you are not willing to, if you cannot lay your life down for them, don't share certain things with them. Simple. You must be sure that this person has your interest at heart. Real interest. The person has nothing to even do to you and get anything from you. That's why, that's why I see a person that I like people who are succeeding. Because somebody who is richer than me, apart from that, he doesn't have anything to, to take from me. You, you can't help me. <laughs> right? Or friends that I have seen them and they have grown. Okay, good. I see based on what their mindset have matured, their spirituality have grown. I am emphasizing on this because it is, be careful. The enemy is not that powerful. See, Satan, demon, whatever they call witches and wizards, they thrive on two important things. The information they have about you and your level of ignorance. Your level of ignorance about who you are in God and who God is to you. When you don't understand your authority, the enemy is very happy. He will be toasting you like handball, up and down, mesmerizing your life. Attack your finances, attack your health, attack your career, attack your family, up and down. Because you don't carry a shield, you don't carry authority, you don't, you don't understand who you are in God and who God is to in you. Ignorance. And then information that you pass out in me anyhow. Anybody going through shame, going through shame because somebody tarnished with your image and glory. May you experience restoration in the name of Jesus. May the light of God that brings restoration, may it rest upon you now in the name of Jesus. Psalms 4 verse 7, the Bible says, you have put joy in my heart. You are going to pray. My Father, my Lord, put joy in my heart throughout 2023 in the name of Jesus. For some people, 2022, you went through a lot of sadness, even almost entered depression. But hey, there is a dimension of joy that only God can give you. There is a dimension of joy that only God can give you. And many a times when God wants to put joy in your heart, he gives you breakthrough. He gives you an open door. 
He gives you a testimony that will make you to that. You are going to pray. Oh Lord, honor your word in my life and put joy in my heart throughout 2023. See, I would like to use the word through when I'm praying for certain things there because I don't believe in up and down success. I'm serious. I believe if God has done it, it should be consistent. See, the Bible talks about glory to glory. The Bible talks about goodness and mercy. There's nothing in the Bible like good and down, up and down, no. Upward and forward. When they say there's a casting down, we say there's a lifting up. Then I like to use a lot of throughout. I'm getting married. I am praying for everlasting marriage of joy, peace, happiness, and prosperity throughout. There's no year I'm going to manage with my wife that money is not there. I'm not, I'm not for that kind of prayer. But that's what. And what God has said. There's nothing God said, I'll put sadness and joy in your heart. Have you ever seen a verse like that? Some months you'll be sad. Some months you'll be joyous. No, no. Nah, I don't, I, I have not seen a verse in the Bible. Now I like to use the word throughout. So you're going to pray, my Father, my Lord, put joy in my heart throughout 2023 in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. my Lord. Put joy in my heart. Throughout 2023. In the name of Jesus Christ. Put joy in my heart, oh God. Joy in my career. Joy in my business. Joy in my family. Joy in my life. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> 
Thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus. Now, there's a verse I want to share, an extra verse, and we're going to pray that prayer point again because sometimes. You know, certain certain messages or certain many certain ways, and we are going up. Many many people feel that you know it is not God's will that you should be blessed, you should be prosperous, successful in your career and business and all of that. No, it is part of your heritage because you succeeding, you become you become a fruitful person in the kingdom, and God uses you for His purpose. Now, there's a verse in the Bible that I saw that changed a lot about me. Uh, um, Psalms 119 verses 58. Psalms 119 verses 58, verse 58. The Bible says, I sought your favor with all my heart. And another version says, I sought your blessings with all my heart. Look, it's your responsibility to, sought, to seek the face of God with all your heart for him to bless you. I sought your favor with all my heart. I sought your blessings over my business. I sought your blessings over my career. I sought your blessings over my family with all my heart, with my heart in the place of prayer. The big part of that verse says, be merciful and gracious to me according to your promise. Mm. Yeah, this is where you put God in the corner. Because the Bible says, that goodness and mercy will follow you. Another in the book of um, Acts, the Bible also says that God is so rich in mercy and He loves you so much. Another verse says that God will lavish upon you His loving kindness and tender mercy. Now I'm bringing all these verses so you know why David said, "Be merciful and gracious to me according to your promise." So David was praying this prayer point from a certain dimension of wisdom. And he was holding God to his word. And he knew that God will not go back on his word. That's why I always tell you guys, you pray better when you are deep in the word. You don't struggle to pray when you carry the word inside of you. You command things to happen. Because there is a scripture reference that when you put God to test based on that scripture, he will honor his word according to his will because God does nothing outside the boundaries of his word. Praise God. So if, when you're praying for joy, when you're praying that God should put joy in your heart through your career, yes, give you an open door in your career. He can give you a breakthrough in your business to put joy in your heart. David said in Psalm 119, verse 58, I sought your favor with all my heart. Somebody, you need to seek the favor of God with all your heart and tell him, be merciful to me and grant me this favor. Be gracious to me and grant me this favor according to your promise. We are going to pray that prayer point again. Oh God, Put joy in my heart in the name of Jesus. Through my business, put joy in my heart in 2023. Through my career, put joy in my heart. If you are seeking for marriage and you know that marriage will make you happy and put joy, pray for it. Oh God, put joy in my heart by settling me maritally. Open your mouth and begin to pray. My father, my maker, 
in the name of jesus i decree and i declare over your life god will put joy in your heart by giving you a career breakthrough that will change your life Amen. In the name of Jesus, God will give you your heart by giving you a business open door that will change your Amen. business forever. In the name of Amen. Jesus, God will give your heart by settling you maritally according to your Amen. heart's desire. In the name Amen. of Jesus, Amen. 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 That move that you want to make, that next move, that next action that you that you want to make, the favor of God will locate you, and that Amen. is successful, and you will find joy in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thanks, favor. I sense Thank favor. Favor. Yes. favor. Amen. I'm talking about favor for people who have initiated something already and they are waiting patiently for it to come to pass. The favor of God will speak for you in the name of Jesus. The favor of God will speak for you in the name of Jesus. That thing that you have initiated and the decision is in the hands of other people. By the favor of God and by the grace of God, it will come to pass and joy will fill you up. The name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. We're going to pray. Again. Psalms 4, verse 8. Psalms 4, verse 8. You know, one of the most important things you should pray for is peace and safety. Like, if you're a businessman and you're building a business, look, anything can happen and your business can crumble and it disappears. But when God is the head over it, you can sleep well. You can be working on your career. Even a good relationship, you, anything can happen and it can crumble. So praying for peace and safety over that which concerns you is a very critical prayer point for we all to pray. So when we pray in this prayer point, whatever you do next year, the peace of God will be over that thing and the safety of the most high God will be over that thing. Look, Psalms 4 verse 8, the Bible says, in peace, I will both lie down and sleep. See, only somebody who has peace can sleep. For people who have gone through heartbreaks, they can tell you their story. <laughs> or for people who have lost their business deal because maybe carelessness or whatever happened, they can tell you how much they lost money and they could not speak for days. They can tell you their experiences. 
or a job that you were so certain that this job is a good job and will last you for a couple of years. Overnight, you lose the job. They can tell you that they did not sleep. So you have Psalms 4 verse 8. The Bible says, in peace, I will both lie down and sleep. And David continues, for you alone, O Lord, make me dwell in safety and confident trust. God alone. The Bible says very clearly, God is not watching. The watchman watches in vain. If you are building anything and God has not built that thing, you are building in vain. If you are working hard, you live in the morning and come back in the night and God has not gone ahead of you to bless. You will faint and get tired with nothing to show for. The Lord himself needs to get it done. For you alone, oh Lord, make me dwell in safety and in confident trust. You are going to pray. My father, make me lie down and sleep in peace throughout 2023. Make me and all that concerns me. Very important. Make me and all that concerns me. All here means your finances, your, 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 your career, your business, your marriage, whatever, your projects, whatever concerns you. Make me and all that concerns me to dwell in safety, to dwell in safety. 23, in the name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to pray. Begin to say for all that belongs to Thank you, Baba Father. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you. Throughout next year, you will lie down and sleep in peace. In the name of Jesus Christ, nothing that will put you through sorrow, nothing that will put you through sadness will come near you in the name of Jesus. And the Bible says, God alone will make you dwell in safety and in confident trust. Decree and I declare, in the name of the Lord God of Israel, you will dwell in safety throughout next year. In the name of Jesus, your career, your 
business, your finances, and all that concerns you will dwell in safety throughout next year in the name of Jesus, the shield of God, the angels of God will take charge of you in the name of Jesus. By night, God will go ahead of you by the pillar of fire. And by day, he will go ahead of you in the pillar of cloud. In Jesus' name. We're going to pray a prayer for us. Malachi chapter 4 verse 2. Mm, I always like this verse. Malachi chapter 4 verse 2. The Bible, and this is one of those verses that carries a powerful promise. A powerful promise. And I've always taught you guys, I always emphasize this. Any promise you see in the Bible, check the condition. Check the condition. Now, Malachi chapter 4 verse 2. The Bible says, but for you who fear my name, the son of righteousness will rise with healing in its wings. And you will go forward and leap joyfully like calves from the stall. We're going to pray a prayer for you. Oh God, in 2023, I will go forward only. Oh my goodness. Everything I do next year will go forward only. My life next year will go forward only. But there is a condition for you to experience a life that goes forward only. You must fear the Lord. As I always say, when you see fear the Lord in the Bible, it talks about reverencing God, honoring God, worshiping God. You be in awe of his greatness. That's the meaning of fear the Lord. We talk about this. Here, where your father is coming to the kitchen, run to the parlor. That's another kind of fear. <laughs> okay? Yes. So, for you to live a life that consistently moves forward, live a life that honors God, a life that reverence God. So, you are going to pray as a kingdom person, as a kingdom entrepreneur, as somebody who honors the Lord, as somebody who serves the living God. Oh, Lord, honor your word in my life. God himself says, and you will go forward and live joyfully. You're going to pray, oh, God, in the name of Jesus, I go forward only throughout next year. My career goes forward only throughout next year. My business goes forward only throughout next year. That relationship, it goes forward only into marriage. That marriage, it goes forward only into joy and prosperity. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Begin to pray. Master goes forward only. Begin to pick those areas in your life. Uh. Begin oh, to do this area goes forward. Oh, in the name Thank you, Father. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. Mother, for you in the name of Jesus. 
and a kingdom possessor, as somebody who has chosen to live for the Lord, I decree and I declare over your life. I decree and I declare over all that concerns you. Throughout next year, you will go forward only in the name of Jesus. You will go forward only in the name of Jesus. You will not only go forward, but you will live for joy throughout next year in the name of Jesus. You will live for joy throughout next year in the name of Jesus. No stagnation shall find you next year. No evil will befall you next year. Ah, the Bible says that in Psalm 91 verse 10, no evil will befall you. No, no plague will come near you. But the Bible says in verse 1 of that same chapter, the Bible says, he who dwells in the shelter of the Most High. I have good news for you. For those four days, you have dwelt in the shelter of the Most High. And I know that you dwell in the shelter of the Most High every day. I decree and I declare. And I know that God honors his word. You will go forward next year in the name of Jesus. Nothing, no plague, no evil will befall you and bring stagnation in the name of Jesus. You will know only a forward life. You will know only a forward life. You will know only a forward life. The name of Jesus. And the Bible says, we are called heirs with Jesus Christ. And we are seated far above. Your life knows only a forward movement. Your life knows only a forward movement, says the Lord. As you keep dwelling, as you keep dwelling in my presence, I will keep honoring you. My glory will shine upon you. You will see my glory. You will see my glory. You will see my glory. Oh, wow. You will see my glory. You will see my glory. There's somebody here. God is showing me somebody here. This is your first time of praying like this for your new year. And you just dump some charms that you used to use for protection and, you know, hoping that the charm will help you succeed. You made up your mind that you will, you will stop using charms and you have chosen God from now henceforth. Can you send me a private message if you don't like to confirm it where everybody can see you? Send me a private message. I'll give you further instructions. But you have chosen, you have said, you know what? Is bit is me and God now to for them but it's forever. You have dumb charms. You used to believe charms and native doctors. So God is saying that uh, He will you will see His glory next year. Because there's no double-mindedness in your heart. You have made up your mind that is God or nothing. And because of this, you will see my glory, says the Lord. Aha, uh -huh. the person just confirmed inbox. Yes. God saw you making that decision. God saw you making that decision. Yes, God saw you. God saw you. God says you will see his glory next year. I always say something funny. There's no disadvantage in Christ. There's no disadvantage in Christ. The only thing that happened with the church is that the, the scripture was taught half, halfway. They taught of only about living a holy life, dying and going to heaven. And they didn't teach us that we are supposed to have dominion on earth. Look, the Bible says in Revelation that uh, God has made us kings unto him and priests unto him. And uh, he has made us to reign on earth. We have the right to reign here. You don't need 
dominion in heaven because only God dominates in heaven. We all these things that he created, that you will have dominion on earth. So this thing now made people to feel that you cannot succeed in Christ. You can be dangerously wealthy in Christ, dangerously influential, Holy Ghost speaking. One of my clients attended one of the prayer sessions and said, wait, are you the same person that you come to the company and you speak strategy and all of this thing and then he was, he was shocked to the core. He was shocked to the core. Say yes, of course. In this community, we are raising fire brand. We are raising fire brand. You see guys who command well, who are in authority, own companies, tongue speaking, Holy Ghost filled, scripture, reading scriptures, authority in Christ, dangerous work. So it now made people to now feel that it is the success they need, under the, and then the devil took advantage of it. Then the devil took advantage of it. And I came and started giving people fame. I'll give you this. I'll give you that. If you join us, I join. This thing, I, I don't say from, I don't say this thing because I hear. I'm saying this thing because I have encountered them. Someone come and tell me, Bully, can you join our, this, our society, this, this, our group, this, our court? We'll make you, we'll make you famous. We'll make you uh, 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 advisor to the minister of this in Cameroon. I said, I'm not interested. All the wealth and fame I need. Go. I asked, I asked one time. When I went to court for this government, was it your government? I've never consulted a Cameroon government, but I've consulted for other governments, African Development Bank, United Nations projects. Was it your government who took me there? The man was looking at me. I don't need you. I, I am already in a higher court. Let us see who is going to succeed and pass through. He laughed and left. That is it. The difference is people don't, you know, the thing, the, the funny thing is also that the devil's option is cheap. To tarry in the place of prayer for two hours, three hours of prayer, not everybody is willing to pay that price. You understand? So that, that, that's also where, you know, it, it comes. It comes. But I'm happy that, you know, this community, somebody, somebody came and just said, wait, people wake up at 3.30 in Cameroon time to pray and for, to hear the word of God and grow. I said, yeah. He was surprised. I said, yeah. And it's only going to become better. Okay, so that, 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 that lady, praise God for you. You have made the best decision. As long as you dwell in the shelter, you dwell in his presence, nothing, everything you touch is blessed. Everything you touch is blessed. It will start and you will see the glory of God because God wants to prove to you that that thing that you are seeking from the enemy, you can get it from him if you tarry. This is your word. This, 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 this young person that just dropped this. Another person is just confirming that um, this medication she used to keep to protect her money. It's wealth. Don't, those things don't help you. They, they, they only, they, they, see, those things are platforms for the enemy to pass and begin to manage and destroy. That's the funny thing people don't know. That's why when you go through those, it's having funny, funny dreams and fighting funny, funny battles in the night. Because they now become a window where the enemy has have access to your life and can do anything in your life. It's a platform. It's a platform for the enemy to transact in your life, transact your destiny, transact opportunities, transact your blessings. It becomes your life becomes miserable. Sleepless nights here and there. Praise God. That's the best thing you have made. Okay, please, we'll talk better on WhatsApp we'll for that instructions, and you will see the hand of God in a special way next year, in Jesus' name. Amen, as we round up, round up for today. Now, we're going to pray. Mm. We're going to pray a prayer point. Job chapter 22, verse 21. The Bible says, now yield and submit yourself to him. You know, God told me that today, day three, people were contacting the grace and favor for lifting. 
grace and favor for lifting throughout next year. And that's why I look at most of the prayer points as two, two words that way, because that's what God said. Okay. Now, Job chapter 22, verse 21, the Bible says, now yield and submit yourself to him and be at peace. Mm. See, when you submit your life to God, when you submit your life to God, be at peace. Stop being anxious. When you are anxious, it's like I think you're the one who wants to do it. That's why I always say, see, when I pray about something, I don't bother to calculate how God will do it. See, if you are praying for something and you are trying to understand how God will do it, you have, your faith is not complete. Pray, believe. What, however he wants to do it, that is his business. My job is to pray and have faith. However it comes, I don't care, but I want the results. Many people pray for things and then they are anxious about it. Now yield and submit to him. Oh my goodness. Yield and submit yourself to him. And do what? And be at peace. Hey, somebody, you have prayed for next year, right? You have submitted your next year to him, right? You have yielded your next year to him, right? Be at peace. Trust him that your next year is perfect. Perfect. Perfect next year. Then the B part of that verse, and that's where the prayer point is. In this way, you will prosper and good will come to you. In this way, you will prosper and good will come to you. This is a prophetic declaration prayer. You're going to pray. Oh God, in 2023, Prosper me and let good come to me in the name of Jesus. Begin to speak, oh God, in 2023. Prosper me and let good come to me in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Open your mouth and begin to think the prayer of declaration to the that prosperity is your portion this year. Who is your portion of Jesus? In the name of the Lord, 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 the I pray for you. God will prosper you next year in the name of Jesus. Only good will come to you according to his word. Only good will come to you in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, thank you. Thank you, Lord. It is done. It is done. Next prayer point. Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 10. Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 10. The Bible says, he found him in a desert land, in the howling wasteland of the wilderness. Now, see, this verse, I don't know where you are right now in your life. He said he found him in a desert land. You know, desert, desert land can mean of lack, scarcity, 
your life is just dry. Like maybe throughout this year, no good news, no opportunity. So as if nothing good happened to you. That could be you in your desert land. I bring you good news. God has found you. He says he found him in the desert land, in the howling wasteland of the wilderness. He kept circling him. He took care of him. He protected him as the apple of his eye. Oh my goodness. When God takes care of you, you don't lack anything. When God takes care of you, he sustains you. When God takes care of you, he blesses you. And then when God protects you, everything that he has given you is safe. Everything that he has given you is from glory to glory because he himself is protecting you. Why is he protecting you? Because you are the apple of his eye. You are going to pray, oh God, take care of me as the apple of your eye. Protect me as the apple of your eye, according to your word. You are holding him. As I always say, when you pray the scriptures, you don't get it wrong. You are going to pray, oh God, take care of me as the apple of your eye. Protect me throughout next year as the apple of your eye. Open your mouth and pray, somebody. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and begin to pray. and Thank you, Abba Father. In the name of Jesus, we're going to pray. Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 13. The Bible says, he made him right on high places of the earth. Mm. He made him right on the high places of the earth. After he the produce of the field. Oh my goodness. These are the kind of verses that personally when I see them, I know there are some places in this society I must stand on them. Because God has said it, my job is to believe it and make it manifest. God himself says he will make you rest on the high places of the society. You are a career professional. What is the highest platform in your industry that you cannot stand upon? There are some things when you know, there's something I did here when I, uh, when I came here in Houston to do some stuff, I sent an email to the mayor of Houston that I told myself that I'm this consultant from Africa and I do I like to provide some consulting to, to some companies. And all. I, saw, I saw a project and then the, the mayor replied me. I said, ah, ah, do it. You never know what happens. Do it in faith. Do it based on what you understand who you are.
He says he will make you ride on high places of the earth. But you need to believe the word. Walk in the word. Do the things that the word requires for you to manifest in your life. I don't mean, think how did he eat the produce of the field? Oh, I have good news for somebody. You are going to eat the produce of your career. You are going to eat the produce of your business. You are going to eat the produce of that country where you work. You are going to eat the produce of that continent. You are going to eat the produce of the entire universe. So says the Lord. So says the Lord God. He made him right on the high places of the earth. That your business that you think is small. How much faith do you have that the business can grow? That business can grow and compete with, this, with the biggest company in your industry that when you look, you are afraid. Because God himself will make you right on the high places of the earth. You are going to pray, oh God, by your mercy and by your grace, let me right on high places of the earth. Make me right on the high places of the earth. And by your word, let me eat the produce of the field in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Begin to pray, somebody. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray that scripture. Begin to pray that scripture. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Father, Lord, Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus, last prayer point, we're going to pray. Ezekiel chapter 34, verse 26. Ezekiel chapter 34, verse 26. The Bible says, I will make them and the places around my hill a blessing. Mm. God will make you a blessing and the places around my hill a blessing. I will make them a blessing. And it continues. And I will make showers come down in their season. I have taught you guys about season. New year is a season. A new week is a season. A new month is a season. Your birthday is a season. And how intentional and how discerning you are about these changes in season, spiritually and physically, will advance your life perpetually forward. There are certain things that we understand about sin you begin to do. Because you, you are doing that to position yourself for the next phase, for the next thing that God is about to do. Never ignore seasons. The Bible says, and I will make showers, I'll make showers come down in their season. 
showers of blessing will come down in this season in the name of Jesus. And the Bible says, there will be abundant showers of blessing. See, there is shower, then there is abundant showers. Which one do you want? Do you want showers or abundant showers? Like, you know, you know that in the Bible there is favor and there is highly favor. You can be favored. But some people can be highly favored. So you either you are contending for favor or highly favored. In the Bible, there's grace and there is great grace. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so these things are in level. So go for the one that you can, you can carry. So we're going to pray. Bible says, I will make them. I will make them. And the places around my hill a blessing. I will make them a blessing. And I will make showers come down in their season. And there will be abundant showers of blessing in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Begin to pray that, oh God, make me a blessing according to your word. Let your showers of blessing fall upon me in this season. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Open your mouth and begin to pray that Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, in 2023. According to Ezekiel 34, 26, uh, God is making you a blessing uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, God himself uh, will make showers of blessing, uh, abundant showers of blessings uh, to come down in your life uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, to shower upon your business uh, in the name of Jesus, to shower in your career in the name of Jesus. When you turn left, you will see blessings. When you turn right, you will see blessings. When you look forward, you will see blessings. When you look behind, you will see blessings. In the name of Jesus Christ, showers of blessings, abundant showers of blessings. In the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Just open your mouth and begin to thank God. Just say, Father, thank you. Thank God, just say, Father, thank you. Thank you for today, Lord. Thank you for today, Lord. Thank you for today, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, 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 Thank
in jesus name amen and amen oh my goodness what a session i know that god has done incredible things God has done incredible things. I always emphasize, nobody tarries in the presence of God like this. A grace rubs on you. Favor rubs on you. His presence rubs on you. His wisdom rubs on you. Many, many things rubs on you. Praise God. So expect an encounter. Expect an incredible year. This is the official ending of our four nights of, of prayers and ministration for 2023. As I kept emphasizing yesterday, for those who have encounters, because after this we have encounters, dreams and all of that, please, if you, need, if you are confused about anything, let us talk about it for further instruction. Um, next Monday, I think next Monday will be our last um, service for, for the year. I think then the other Monday will be our first service for, 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 for the new year. So it's, it's going to be exciting. So be excited, we'll be expectant to that. And this Thursday, for those that are new in the community, uh, we always have our Monday service, normally Monday service, Cameroon time, which is always 3.30 a.m. Cameroon time on Monday morning, because since we are professionals and entrepreneurs, we always pray for our week. We have administration and pray for the week on Monday morning. Um, for those who are in the U.S., other countries, it's always around 9.30 central time. Um, uh, in the West, US and all of that, for Europe, all of that, always in the morning. And then on Thursday, it's our Kingdom Master Class. So Kingdom Master Class, where we focus purely on strategies, strategies for career dominance and business success. This Thursday, I'll be having a live master class. Don't miss it. Seven o'clock Cameroon time, the live master class. I'll be teaching on strategies to win in career and business in 2023. Pew marketplace strategies. I am not quoting Bible scriptures. I'm teaching, I am coming that time as a business consultant, as a career expert to teach you based on my analysis on how next year will look like, the marketplace will look like, what you should be doing and doing and all of that. Okay, so 7 p.m. Cameroon time. Um, so for those who are in the U.S., I think about six, 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 six central time, and then maybe some, uh, I mean, 12, 12 p.m. central time, those are in the U.S., maybe 1, 1 a.m. Eastern time, 1 p.m. Eastern time, those are in the East, East Coast and all of that. So please do not miss Thursday, Kingdom Master Class, I'll be giving you things that if you want to succeed in the marketplace as a professional, as an entrepreneur, you need to know both in the side of the community, free and if everything depends on it, and strategize and work hard as if everything depends on it. When you balance prayer and you balance strategy and hard work, that's why your life can never, never be empty. You're always full of testimonies because you're balancing everything. Don't miss that. Invite somebody to very free, but invite as many people as possible. Okay? Amen. Can I say something? Yes, Greetings. go ahead. Please, I would just want all the 
participants, we're about uh, on Zoom, we're about 38 of us, and on Facebook. Please let's, uh, let us lift up prayer for our brother, Javben Joybet. Let us lift prayer for him that may the Lord continue to strengthen him and may the Lord continue to take him from grace to grace. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for your servants. Bless your name, Lord. Thank you for your his family bless his family pray for his mother the Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Thank you so much for your prayers. Thank you. Thank you so much for that idea. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much. Stay back in the community. For those who are new, if you are not in any of our WhatsApp groups, please indicate. Um, you can send me a message on Facebook, anywhere you find yourself, or the person who invited you, you add it to the community so you don't miss out on all our activities. This, this is what we do. Um, it's a, it's a, it's a, this is what we existing for over two years, two to three years already. Okay. Normally, we should be doing our, um, how do you call it again? Annual anniversary every March. The vision came in March 23rd. All right. So, and part of the things that God led my heart to do is to build a national convention where we gather members from all over the world and all of that. We have not done, we have never done one yet. Maybe the day is coming, we're going to do one national convention. We pick a country, a coast in Cameroon, the, the, the birth of the vision, and then we can move. We have members, hundreds of members in Dubai, South Africa, US. Um, we have Thailand, we have Cyprus. We have people from all over the, the world in different countries where in the community. So we'll keep growing, okay? So, yeah, so be part of the community, be active, invite people as much as you can. Our mission is simple. Everything that we do is summarized under one simple mission, pointing professionals and entrepreneurs to the light of God, to the kingdom for his glory, as simple as that. All right, God bless you. Take care. For those who are going to bed, have a good night. And keep winning. Cheers.